Привет, guys! How's it going? My name is Fedor, and in the last videos about the garden, you guys asked me a lot about the vocabulary of the veggies of the garden itself. So today's the video about that. I'm not gonna go out. The weather is terrible, so I'm gonna do it here and do my best uh, when it comes to the words. And you're gonna have the pictures, the words, the translations, and everything, so you can understand it the best. Okay? So uh, I'm also gonna talk about a little bit of the culture behind the words and maybe explain them and maybe if we use the, veg the veggies or not, all that kind of stuff. So you're going to get a lot of information today. The first word is the garden itself, agarot. Agarot is going to be the garden where we plant the vegetables. Another word for, for the garden is going to be sat. But sat is more of um, for the beauty purposes, like the flowers, the trees, so it's like, it's not for the vegetables, but it's for the beauty purposes, okay? So, two different words for the garden. But now let's get to the veggies themselves. The first one is going to be look. Look, which is onion. Look. Then it is markovka. Markovka, some people call it markov, but markovka is a more common way, and it is carrot. Then we have pomidori. Pomidor. Pomidor, which means a tomato. Pomidor. Then it is agurets. Agurets, which is a cucumber. And pomidor and agurets are very, very common here. Think of it as like the kind of popularity as lettuce in America has. They're very, very popular. And here, agurets and pomidor always go together. In every salad, you're going to have a pomidor and, and, and agurets, okay? So those are very common here. Then it is chisnok. Chisnok means garlic. Chisnok. Then some people grow kartoshka. Kartoshka means potatoes. Some don't because, you know, it takes a lot of land and it's just easier and maybe even cheaper to buy kartoshka on the, on the market because it's pretty cheap here. Then we have perets. Perets is pepper. Green, uh, green pepper. Uh, red pepper, orange pepper, we have that all here. And last two, when it comes to vegetables, are not so common in America, but they are here. And the first one is svikla. Svikla means beet. And you know that we make borscht out of beet. So beet is very, very common. It's like this purple kind of looking uh, vegetable that I did not see in America in my three years being there. So I assume Americans don't have it, okay? Last one is ridiska. Ridiska, and I didn't know the word for it in, in English, so using the translator, I got reddish. Reddish or radish, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and I did not see that in America as well. So I'm assuming you guys don't have it. I'm sorry, but it's great, tasty, awesome, I love it. Ridiska. And by the way, when my girlfriend tried it for the first time, she didn't like it. She spit it out because it was just nasty for her. But now let's get to the berries that we grow and the most gardens have. The first one is klubnika. Klubnika is strawberry. Klubnika. Sometimes people, people call strawberry Victoria as well. So Victoria, I guess it's just another way of saying klubnika or strawberry. The second berry is malina. Malina is raspberry. A lot of gardens have that, and um, those are the only two. Strawberry and raspberry. Kulubnika and malina. So, here you go. And last list is going to be the trees. Or, uh, yeah, the trees, I guess. Um, maybe, not the trees. Fruits. Fruits. Uh, okay, the first one is vishnya. Vishnya is cherry. Vishnya. Vishnya. Then it is yablanya. Yablanya means apple tree, but yablako, yablaka means apple. So yablaka as a fruit is apple, but apple tree is yablanya. Yablanya. We kind of distinct, we don't distinguish the plant itself from the fruit, but when it comes to the apple tree, we do. So yablanya is apple tree, yablaka is an apple. Last one for today is plum. Plum. Not a lot of people grow it, but
but we do have it in our garden. My dad just planted it it's because he, he wanted plums in his garden, so he did it. And that's it, guys. I kind of gave you a lot, a lot of vocabulary, but I hope that it was useful. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please let me know. If you did not, please let me know as well. And I'll see you next time. Пока-пока.